Hi Tenfold, it's Lerato from Limpopo. Please help me with this question. I've been really struggling with it. Thank you. Bye. Let's see. The inheritance of fur color in cats is sex linked. In other words, it can sit on X and Y chromosomes or X chromosomes. The tortoiseshell color of cats is a combination of black and orange. The alleles for black fur is represented by XB and the allele for orange is XO. Okay, so this little kitty here, okay, is going to be XB, XO. All right, tortoiseshells when they've got all those different colors on them. Now they say a hint, your sex chromosomes, which you should know are gonosomes, in cats is inherited the same as in humans. Okay, people, just, just a little snippet here. Um, your, your, your sex chromosomes, they're two, X, X and XY. So XX for females, XY for males. They're your gonosomes, but your autosomes are the other 22 chromosomes or 22 pairs of chromosomes. That is every, uh, that's for your body. Okay, right, let's see here. A female cat with a tortoiseshell color is crossed, so tortoiseshell color is crossed with an orange male. Show the genetic cross between the two cats to determine the F1 generation. Easy, easy peasy. Let's see. Right, we're going to do this now. It is going to be so easy, you're going to be absolutely flabbergasted. We've got P1, uh, P1, all right, and we do our phenotype. I'm not going to write this out because we, run it, we don't have much time, but we've got our tortoise shell female, okay, times our orange male. Okay, so what do we have in the genotype? Okay, the tortoiseshell female is going to be X, B, X, O. And the orange male is going to be X, O, but doesn't have another X. A male has got a Y. All right, so we have meiosis and we have our little Punnett square with our nine little blocks. And we have our gametes. So we've got X, B and X, O and our male there and we have fertilization occurs. Okay, now we have X, B, X, O, so that's a tortoiseshell female and we have an X, O, X, O, our little orange female and then we have a black male and we have an orange male. Look how cute that is. So what do we have here? What else can you see here? Is that with, when we're doing anything sex linked, 50% will be female and 50% will be male, always. So there's always a 50% chance it'll be a male or a female, okay? No matter what you do. But here, we're going to have our F1 and the F1 genotype I'm sorry, sorry, the F1 phenotype, what are we going to have? We're going to have one tortoise shell female and we have one orange female and I'm running out of space. We have one black male, no, not black male, black male cat <laughs> and we have one orange male okay there you go so tortoiseshell orange one black male one orange male I, I mean yeah one orange male can you see here you can never ever have a tortoiseshell male why because there we have a y chromosome in the way there all right so explain why oh here we go explain why male kittens can never have a tortoiseshell well people that's easy because you say that your alleles for fur color, okay, for fur uh, is R, R carried on the X chromosome to X chromosomes are needed 
for the tortoise <laughs> shell color. Okay, so what do we need? We need XO and XB or XB and XO. But males only have one, and I'm writing this in capital letters, one X chromosome. Because what is the other chromosome? It is a Y chromosome. Only one X chromosome. Therefore, male cats cannot be tortoise shell color. Okay, 